where else can we explore here? I'm feeling like we gotta check out those ruins. I know there's the guy that we can, like, glide with, too. Um, where's that gonna take me, actually? i to take that power line. Might take me somewhere, somewhere relatively new. It looks like there's two dis- like, two distinct sets of power lines, actually. That I could probably, uh, make some use out of. So let's see if this yields any results. Yields, what a scientific word to describe something. Alright, head on over here. See what we can make happen. Do a little circle. And another little circle the other way, maybe? Oh, no, I think it was just the same way. And this just leads me back over here. Okay, that's fine. That is actually, that actually works out okay, because now I can get up here. I can call Jaxie from here, he's relatively close. Might as well do it. God, those moons. I wonder how many moons you can amass at a single time, if there's like a limit to it. Because those moons on the left side of the screen are starting to take up a pretty hefty chunk of like screen real estate. Call Jaxie, absolutely. All right, buddy. It's you and me. All right, we're gonna skip on, skip on past, past this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we're not gonna skip on past it, but uh, this is this is fine too. My days of standing around are done. He's pot committed. All right. Is there gonna be anything new down in the ruins? I mean, only one way to find out, really. Go check it out. Real quick. I wonder if now that we've thawed the place out. If that uh, area in the that was down like the quicksand, if that's thought out at all, I don't think it will be, just because it's kind of it, it was underground, right? And the underground areas seem to have not changed. My brief experience of these fucking goombas and sombreros—they're actual proper goombas at this time. Which, me, which leads me to think that maybe I can do something with them. But I'm not gonna worry about it for right now, I guess. Do that. I'm just exploring these runes to see if there's anything like new that jumps out to me right now. There is. Oh, there's what? Excuse me. Excuse me. There's like a little little female Goomba, Goombet. Somebody, some might say. How you doing, girl? Uh. All right. Oh, she's back. Okay. Um. Nope. She doesn't like Cappy either. She doesn't like Cappy getting too close. Get her! Oh, hmm. Well, I see Goombas, and I see Goombet. So, the logical thing to do would be to bring them together, maybe. And see what comes of it, I guess. Let's try and stack all these dudes. Make a super macho Goomba, and then uh, go from there. So, can I stack them if they're wearing hats? I can. Okay, that's good. Let's just get all four of these guys, and maybe that will be enough to appeal to our uh, Lady Goomba of the night here. As long as we don't get killed on the way over, we're gonna have to navigate this pretty precociously. Stay away from me, Bullet Bill. Since when do you seek out Goombas anyway? All right, so we gotta get up here. Hey, hey there! Can you do you see me? Oh, she is. She's she's loving it, dude. How you doing? What? <laughs> oh! Somehow getting hit by a bullet bill triggered that. Surprise, it's actually me! Oh, look at it. Oh my god. Love in the heart of the desert. Which, she was betrayed, ultimately. Oh my gosh. Oh, now these guys are screwed. They're just gonna keep, keep getting pounded on by bullet bills. That was pretty cute, though. I like that. At any rate, I don't, I don't think it's worth checking out that, uh... The underground section, just because I'm pretty sure nothing will have changed there. But what is worth checking out for sure is heading back up here to the top of the tower and uh, dealing with whatever. See what we can get from this gliding fellow. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna change anything. Just not having ice here doesn't seem like it. Unless there's like, is there something here? Aha! I thought that looked a little peculiar. You probably didn't need to like melt the ice in order to in order to get that, but still. There you go. Would have been an easy one to miss, I'm sure. So let's see. How does this guy 
work. Hold B to glide. So I'm assuming you can't just like fly anywhere you want to. Because gliding, to me, you don't gain height when you glide. Oh, geez, Louise. This is weird to control. Oh, the painting. Hold on. So this is probably how you were meant to actually get there. If we get back to a high place, we can fly again. There's a painting, though. I can't take this guy into the painting, unfortunately. If we get back to a high place, and glide a little more. I don't know if this is a... I mean, this is probably something that something that we need to do at some point, or that we need to use at some point. Like, maybe to get to there? Is there anywhere high enough to glide from? I mean, the pyramid. But can I get this guy all the way to the pyramid, like, to begin with? Seems unlikely. I just have to figure out how to... How do I even get, like, more height with this guy is the thing right now. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get him back all the way to the top of the tower. I mean, maybe. Only one way to find out, right? See how he handles the, the ruins here, I suppose. We can take him over here for a little shortcut. But, I think we're gonna get, like, stymied pretty quick here. Yeah. Um, I, oh, but we can use these to get up a little bit higher. So that's good. He doesn't get, like, stopped by the quicksand or anything. That's the first thing. I don't think I can go any further than this, because something, yeah, I was going to say something tells me you can't go 8-bit. So how do I get to a higher vantage point? Or do I just have to... I mean, this is relatively high, but not, like, super high. I might just have to, like respawn him, more or less, at the back of the top of the tower. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's any real purpose to this right now is the thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave you for the time being, Mr. Scree E. 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 And, uh, ooh, purple coins. Should go get those, for sure. Don't want to be missing out on those. There's, I feel like those are gonna be ulti ultimate. No, get, get up, Mario! Mario, no! Oh. I mean, it's really just a waste of time more than anything because I can just like easily pipe back out of here. Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I didn't realize you could do ground pound and like fast travel through a pipe like that. All right, and that should actually respawn the uh, the gliding lizard fellow back at the uh, top of the tower. So that's one benefit, I suppose. Oh, that's cute. There's like a little lizard lounging in the shade, or he was lounging in the shade of this pillar before I interrupted him. Yeah, like I was saying, I think these purple coins are going to be the ultimate bane of, of my existence, because there's no hint system to find them, as far as I know. So we're, we're just going to be on our own on that front, just exploring the high dunes and low chasms and all that, all that gobbledygook. All right. I'm a, at a bit of a loss as to where to explore next. Like, ooh, hold on. There's some purple coins right there. Speak, like, speak of the devil. I didn't even consider this little section. I, sh I should have. I never really explored the back of this ruin, did I? I really should have thought of it. But I think it might be time to start talking to Takatu and see what else we can, uh, what we can, what we can reap from his hints. Because I'm honestly... At this point, like, talk, talk to was pretty helpful in the past two kingdoms for finding things. I'm not sure how helpful he's going to be in this one. Because, like, just the names of them, there's so many different places in here, is the thing. That just the names of moons is probably not going to be all that helpful. It might be helpful, it might be, like, really obvious for some of them, but for others... Like, if it was just, like, a, a hint, like, it's like, Secret Timer Challenge 2 or Secret Timer Challenge 4, if there is one of those... Then it's like, I'm not going to have any idea. It's just got to explore the desert at that point. So we'll see. I think I'm probably going to probably gonna see about Takatu after I... I'm going to check one last time with this uh, this gliding guy up here. See if there's anything I might I can like pinpoint. Any areas that I want to glide to specifically. Like, see, it's, it's like way out there. Even if I got to the... Well... I don't know how to get him up there, though, is the thing. If I can get him up there. 
feel like I recognize this guy from the trailer, too. Um, like, geez louise. I could take him across this and do this whole shebang, but that doesn't really help me in any way. He can't, he can jump, so that's good at least. I'm just like, can he tightrope walk up, the, up this thing? No, certainly not. I'm not sure what I can really use you for, my friend. Tell you what, I'll usually glide back to the village, or as far as close as we can get to the village anyway. And then we'll talk to Takatu from there. I think Takatu was around the village here somewhere. Don't remember exactly where. I can actually probably check my map and find that out, though. Relatively easy. Actually, he might, uh, he was on top of, like, yeah, he's right up here. Okay, I see him. All right, my good buddy Takatu. It's been a while, my friend. How are you doing? What's the secret? I know it. I know it. I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. Hidden room in the flowing sands. Hidden room in the flowing sands. Okay, let me... I, can, I might be able to glean even more of a hint. On the leaning pillar, it's between those two. On, between on the leaning pillar and secret of the mural. Hmm. I don't know if there's any... It, I, I, that leads me to think, and I was already thinking this just by the name, that it's, that it's probably in the ruins somewhere. And that, uh, the reason I was thinking that initially anyway is just because that's the only place that really has flowing sands. Like the the, the uh, quicksand around here is the only flowing sand that comes to mind. So let's uh, have a look-see, I suppose. Secret room in the flowing sands. That's an interesting way to phrase it. I could see like just secret in the flowing sands. Secret room makes me a little more curious. So we gotta be careful here, because if we spend too much time just like walking about, then we're gonna be a little bit screwed. Is there something like down like these sands are flowing heavily? That's some heavy flowage right there. Can I go like under the staircase here? No, that's that's blocking my progress. How far can I go down before I just like get like eat shit and die? Okay, not that far. Oh my god, that's that's terrifying! What in the hell? I'm way back up here. This is actually fine. This gives me a good vantage point to look at this from. Secret room in the flowing sands. Maybe, like, that sand hill there. Well, that one's a little tough to navigate. Let me get my coins back first and foremost. I think Talk To will only give me one clue at a time as well. So, like, I can't go back to him and, like, be like, alright, give me another hint instead, that one was bullshit. Don't think I can do that. Be nice if I could, though. Let's see. Oh, hold on! I think I see a little gap down there, don't you? There's a little, little smallish, like, slit in the sand over here. Hmm. I think this might have been, like, blocked off a little bit by ice before, so let's see if we can actually sneak under here. Oh! Oh, there it is! Oh my gosh. It's hidden room in the flowing sands. There you go. A little perseverance will do for you. Right, let's go ahead and get back to Toast Arena and uh, see what else Takatu's got for us, I suppose. Oh, she's still out here just waiting for her long lost lover to return. It's a little sad, tragic, bittersweet. All right, my cock two friend that I think I called a parakeet at one point, even though your name is clearly a pun on something else. All right, what do you got for me now? Fishing in the oasis. I knew that lack two was too conspicuous or too inconspicuous. He's hiding something. All right, let's see exactly what though. Jaxie, Jaxie, please. Is this guy uh, taking me to the Metro Kingdom yet? No, not quite yet. I mean, judging by the look of that painting that we saw not that long ago, that might be our gateway to the Metro Kingdom, really. Either that or we just take the Odyssey, really, is, is probably the next best thing. Can Jaxi not go in the water? Is he a little, a little afraid of the water? Okay, he actually, actually apparently is. Alright, fishing in the oasis. Do we gotta guide these little, like, manta ray 
things over towards, uh... Oh, what the hell? Hold on. What was that? Yeah. Okay, I see the fish. No, that, no wait, that's, that's just a shadow of Lakitu. Okay, I thought it was like a big fish shadow all of a sudden. And I was like, what in the hell? Okay, so we got these guys. Can I, like, control their mo motion in any way, though? Like, if I, like... Okay, he's following me, I think. No, he's not. Not anymore, never mind. What about this little one? Throw my cap so slowly underwater. Oh, it's coming around. Okay, not quite. How do I... Oh. You know, this probably would have been a good thing to do from the outset anyway, is try to capture Lakitu. Hold on, I gotta get a good look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this the face you see before you die? Or when you die? <laughs> Alright, uh, so we gotta go a little bit... So we got... So we actually have to... Try and grab these fellows. Wait, I saw one there. I could have sworn I did. Oh. Try to guide my line over to you. Ah! Come on, that was it, man. How is this working? It's not, is is currently my observation. Okay, there's one over there. Pull it on up. Didn't work. What if we just like let it sit? Will they come to me eventually? Do we have to actually wait for a bite like it's real fishing? Hold, he's coming. Look at him go. Look at him go. I got him. Oh, I felt him. I felt... Oh, this is this is straight up. It's straight up fishing. It's actually just fishing. What the hell? All right. Time for a little quiet relaxation with your boy Argon Matrix as we uh, spend our Sunday afternoon fishing. That'd be funny if, that, if this actually went up on a Sunday. It might. I'm not sure how the... Actually, it probably won't, but... Okay, I felt that bite. He's just testing it out for right now. He's going. When's he gonna take it? Oh, he's gone. Okay, so one of those, like... Because there's, like, light rumbles, and there's heavy rumbles. And I know it's, like, impossible to show... Or to demonstrate through the video. You'd have to be here. You have to. You had to be, experience it, man. All right, let's let's make our way over towards this bigger one. I got a feeling he's going to be the our ticket to the power moon here. Let's see if he gains any interest. Oh, we got a little one. So we can at least test our reflexes here. So that was a little one. That's a little one. It's a little one. We got a big boy. Got a big cheap cheap. All right. So now we know how to do it. After, after probably far, probably far too long. Oh, he, we got the big one. Hold on. He's on his way. Oh, that was a big one. I got it. That's a little one. That's a, that's a big one. Reeled in. Oh, oh, shake the Joy-Con. Reel. What the hell? That's a big old cheap cheap right there. My God, fishing in the oasis. All right, that was probably way harder than it had any right to be. Or I made it way harder than it had any right to be. Now, I do remember there were more manta rays in the sand, like, way over here. Or, I guess not manta rays, but cheap, cheap jeeps. So, I got a feeling we got another secret, uh, secret moon right here, actually. If I had to guess. Is he gonna... Just going right under me for right now. Let's see if we can guide it a little bit over. Oh, this one's gonna... No, I was not interested. Come on. Oh, if we sit still. Aha! We've got him. We've got him right where we want him, boys. That's a big one. Real, 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 real. Oh, I'm just going nuts. It's fucking Captain Toad? Dude! I got buried down there. So lucky you came along and I decided to bite your hook with my mouth. <laughs> oh, but I found a power moon under the sand. Take the... <laughs> my god. You know, if I was stuck under the sand like that, you're quite a catch, Captain Toad. Is that a line from Toadette? Oh my god. That was that was just silly. What just happened? Hey, back to it. Oh, it's time for fishing. That was hilarious. 
Oh my god. That was actually... But like I was saying, if I was Captain Toad in that situation, something tells me I would not have, uh, have trusted a barbed metal hook. It's that cut just coming down through the sand. I wouldn't have, like, grabbed onto it. First thing. At any rate, that was, uh, that was an exciting little side adventure here. A little test in our capture abilities. What do we got next? Cockatoo, Takatoo. My friend, Takatoo Mario. Takatoo me. What's the secret you're seeking? It's where the birds gather. Where the birds gather. I mean, I see birds, like, on the power lines. Hiding somewhere, no peeking. Can we glean any information from where it is in the list? Where the birds gather, top of a dune. Where the birds gather. That might be, like, somewhere, because it's near the top, it, or it's somewhere in the range of top of a dune, which was way on top of this dune, right? So let's see if we can get on top of this dune and look for a spot where birds are congregating. First off, I gotta just get this out of the way. This, this, this rumble's gonna bug the hell out of me if I don't. Where is it? Excuse you. Oh, whatever. We're not gonna worry about that. We've already gotten this one. Where the birds gather, huh? This really is bugging me. There we go. Where the birds... Yeah, they're like, I feel like it could be somewhere out in the desert here. Let's just, let's just have a look around, I suppose. For right now. So I'm not entirely sure... ...where birds are wants to gather. I could always go and check with the... Uh, with that other airily voiced toad. Because he always he also offers hints, but for a price. I feel a little bit cheaper doing that, though. That was good, at least. Where are the birds gather? Let me take another look at that, uh, that list. Where are the birds gather? We don't even know what the one before it is. So that's on the statue's tail. See, these aren't in any kind of order, are they? Because, like, these are so separate. This, this could be anywhere. Bird traveling the desert. Where the birds gather. I mean, they've been gathering... If we're talking about... This, if we're talking about the kind of birds that I think we're talking about, like the little, like, Tweety birds, I've seen them in a few places. The one that jumps to mind is the Moai habitat. And also the, uh... Power lines. So let's have a look around the Moa habitat. Let's see if there's anything here. Something tells me this is not going to be it, but it's worth a uh, worth a gander regardless. Because who the hell knows where it's really going to be, right? I mean, it's not going to be here because the birds are only gathering for the specific reason to show you like where the. Uh, and it's only three birds, really. I don't know if I'd call that a gather. A gatherance of birds. Three does not make a gatherance of birds. There's only two here. Where are the birds? Where, where are they flying to? Maybe that's where I gotta find out. No, they just fly off into the ether and are lost to time and space forever. Outside this continuum. Where are the birds gather? I wonder if I could use those one of those telescopes and figure this out. Go way the hell up here. I don't think I'm going to be able to see anything necessarily from up here. But I might be able to... I mean, I will be able to get back down to the... To this. And then there was a... Thing. Yeah, down here. In this crate. There's this. This, I feel like, might be the best way to scour the desert relatively quickly. Let's have a look around. Where are birds gathering? I might, am I even going to be able to see the birds 
from this distance is, is my question, really. I know there's that bird that like flies around with the power moon. Like this guy over here. If I follow him for a little bit, is he gonna like land anywhere? Or is he just like his own separate entity? I feel like he's his own separate thing, but I could be wrong. Follow him for a little bit, see what he does. Like he's still over there fishing his heart out. Bless his soul. See, this is kind of interesting point. So there's like a lot of things that aren't rendering from this distance, but things that grant you a power moon do seem to render. I mean, that's not quite true. I guess there's like a cactus over in that region that gives you a power moon, I'm pretty sure. But like Lactu and this bird, they're just like, I can see it from such a long distance away here. Where are the birds gathered? Oh. Oh, he's flying somewhere different. Hold on. Where are you going, my little hawk friend, vulture, whatever you are? Oh, hold on. There's two of them. What? What? Where do they gather? Where's he coming? He's coming right to me! He goes to the top of the tower? Where's the other one though? What the fuck? I didn't know there were two. I really didn't. And he's going like way over there. Where the birds gather? Is it maybe where they crossed paths over there? Well, for one thing, let's 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 hop out of here. And go see if we can track down this bird. Because I think this, that one that we were following before that like flew just over the tower just now. That's the one we've already encountered, I'm pretty sure. Because that is a, uh, he flew by the oasis, right? So, this other one that was over here, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see him anymore. Yeah, there he is. He's just flying around the, the poison glade here. I don't think I've got you, have I? If I can catch up to him. Oh god, is he going to... Maybe I can, if he just circles around this, uh, poison area, we might be able to catch him on the way back around here. Let's see. Oh, is he picking up speed? This is ridiculous, dude. I wonder if this is the one, like, where the birds gather. Probably not, because it's just the one bird, right? But, could be, I suppose. Here he comes. And, oh, th there he goes. Hold on. Wait. My bird. My friendly Neighborhood bird! No! Okay, we're gonna have to have to wait on him again, I think. I mean I could probably try to cross over here, potentially. Catch him on this side, because I saw that he went over. Uh crap. That's that's okay, actually. I'm not sure where I'm gonna respawn, but. Here he comes. Here he comes. Calgon, take me away! Wait, Calgon! No, Calgon, where are you going? Calgon, my friend! Don't do this to me again. Uh, get him. Okay. We're just going to wait right here. We're gonna wait our little heart out. Sit right down if we could. Grab a snack, everybody. And we're going to watch. And we're going to wait. Because this bird's flying a... He's flying a pattern. He's flying a loop. And we're going to get him. can't believe they're freaking two birds, dude. I didn't... I had no idea. I didn't realize. I hope that didn't mess up the recording or anything. Oh, wait, the bird's coming back. Hold on. Wait, get him. There we go. Okay. This is actually a new power mood, too. Bird traveling the wastes. B-E-A, beautiful. Yeah, I don't I don't think that would have messed up with the recording too bad. It looks, it looks fine for now. Basically, my chair, like, ran over my, my cord for my headset. And, uh, unplugged my microphone real quick. It's all right, though.